Almost forgot my notebook! Ah! Check that out! Ugh, disgusting! I wanna unsee it! Holy spaghetti monster! I won't leave the doll unattended anymore! Where could one get so dirty? We have to fix it up! Let's check the severity of the situation. Yeah, the girl really decided to break bad. Lots of work ahead. How will we get her back to normal? I don't know. Why don't we try some toothpaste? Lie still! Consider this an exclusive refreshing facial! Messy! I think such a vibro massage will cope with any filth! Exactly! Let's wipe her with a sponge, lastly. Now you look like yourself again, darling! Let me admire you! Your gorgeous locks are soaked in slime! However, I have one useful device. Time to experiment! Just snap my wonderful hair! Ken loves it! Help me! Let's trim it a little. Nightmare! It hurts to even look! Don't you know? Beauty requires sacrifice! I'll deal with the mohawk and that's it! Poor thing! Oh, the doll will need a special chair! Wow, she has to visit a salon! Models walk? Sit down! Now Mr. Barber will make you a cool hairstyle! Haircut number one, done! Did you see it? Ooh. Something else, please! Try number two! Oh, quite nice! It doesn't suit our girl! Next! Maybe the third option will look fantastic. Useful wow. and stylish. Perfect choice. Excellent. It's high time to update your wardrobe. But first, let's get rid of those sticky things. Don't be shy, beautiful. Just take off your old clothes quickly. It's really horribly stuck. By the way, a mini dumpster for the mini pants. Goodbye, terrible outfit. Recycling's waiting. Such a great idea. Ugh. Party too hard? I think dinner's coming out! Someone's not feeling very well. Hold on, girls. Barbie knows how to surprise. Look at this, Evie. She's far from food poisoning. Our doll is expecting. Now that's a twist. She needs a belly. Take a rest, mommy. Grab a piece of plasticine. Knead it. And put a cute little Pikachu figurine inside. Place this sash on the stomach and carefully smooth it out, not missing a single roughness. Take a piece of film and wrap it tightly around the waist. Make a knot behind. Some stunning decor will be next. Cover the film with a thin layer of white plasticine. Next, make a belly button with a pencil. Not bad. Feel free to remove the lower layer of plasticine. Get loose now! Our yellow-eared guy is safe and sound. In the meantime, I've prepared a few bright colors and brushes. First of all, apply the red color to the bottom half. Let's wait until the painted part stops being sticky. And then start drawing black details. Whoa! It looks like a Pokeball! You're such a craftswoman! So my tricks revealed, Evie! But the Pokemon tummy is missing the main detail! Take a jar of snow white paint. Fervently dip your brush and draw a small circle in the center. Looks wonderful! And I also found this rubber band above my mother's stationery. Cut it. Drip out a little hot glue on the tip and attach it to the baby Pikachu. We need to see if the rubber band stuck well. Besides, I couldn't resist these little Velcros. Squeeze out a little glue and attach one on the inside of the belly. Connect the second piece with the first one and also fixate it with plasticine. Place the other end of the rubber band on a drop of silicone glue because it will become the umbilical cord between the mother and son. Pika is hidden. So neat! And I have a present for our pregnant lady. Like it? She just can't wait to try it on! Dress her! Wow, fashionista! And a nice gentleman has come to see her. Will you listen to who lives in the belly? 
Let's go, Ken! She needs some rest! High five! Looks like it's begun! Oh no! I'm in labor! Ah! Stop the panic! Professionals at work! Hygiene above all! Let's deliver this baby! Don't be afraid. Under my guidance, the birth will go quickly and smoothly. We'll take a look inside! Welcome to the world, honey! Nurse Evie, you can cut the umbilical cord. Click, click! An exciting moment! Meet the newborn daddy! He looks just like me! Especially the cheeks! Nice family! Let the baby stay with its mom. Congratulations on your adorable son, Barbie! The level of cuteness is off the charts! I want to remember this magical day! Should I take a pic of them with a Pokeball? Smells like magic! Look! Shoo! It scared me! Let's prepare Pikachu a bath! Sit here, buddy! He's splashing, mischief! Time to dry off, Pikachu! You don't want to catch a cold on your first day of life, do you? We only need to put a tiny diaper on him! And no surprises! Just charming! And where will he sleep? A glamorous stroller will help us out! Voila! I hope he has the most pleasant dreams! His attractive mommy has managed to get ready for a walk! Let the child enjoy some fresh air, Barbie girl! Oh, oh, oh. Not a problem! With nail polish remover and a Q-tip, wipe the markings off of a thin syringe. Up to 30 will be enough. Cut off the cleaned part. Remove the elastic plunger and cut off the tip. Squeeze a little colored glue into the tube. Put some on the other side and attach our mini pacifier. Let's customize it! Carefully glue a Pokeball sticker. Will Pikachu appreciate it? Help yourself, Fluffy! Pika Pika! Let's build him his own room! Luxurious dwelling! I can't see anything! Let's turn this apartment into a comfortable Pokemon house! It's time to create a real Pikachu palace! First of all, paint work! I'll grab my favorite roller and take care of the walls! How do you like the shade, Evie? It's refreshing! Like the sky in good weather! The flat is sparkly with new colors! Let's change the portrait! Ciao, Lisa! Hello, Pika! Let's add some fun Pokemon decorations to the mansion! I'm in love with our decor! Let's replace the curtain with a lighter and more playful one! The breeze will be able to tickle it! Cut the fabric into two halves with scissors. Tie each with a small, elegant knot. Smooth out all unnecessary folds. Delightful! The headboard's in the building! Evie and I decided to make it red. Thoroughly work with the roller over each corner. I place a stencil made of a piece of paper and cover the lettering with black paint. Let's take the sheet off! The second stencil will have smaller holes. Now I'll use white! And it's yellow's turn! Carefully tear off the paper. Time to make a couple of strokes with a brush. Perfect! Create a mattress out of polythyrene foam. Squeeze out a thin layer of glue on the edge of the bed and attach the decorated headboard. And finally, clean linens! Psst, Evie, watch this! A square of black fabric will soon turn into a pillow. Fold and then glue it. Put some glue in the hole above and turn the piece inside out. Don't forget to straighten our mini pillowcase! Take a few napkins and put them inside so the Pika's head could rest comfortably. Seal the hole. We got a cool pillow! Cover the bed with a blanket and put it in its place of honor. Another loop! Maybe you should use this scarf for design? Thank you, Craftsy! Down to business! Take out the knitting needles and slowly untangle the threads. We won't need too many. Cut the threads into small pieces. <laughs> Looks like snowfall. Click, click, click. A handful of beige fluffy flakes are ready. Let's create another pile, but in red. 
I'm getting a taste! Remove the scarf and generously cover the pokeball-shaped base with hot glue. Tightly lay out the delicate fluffies of the corresponding color on their half. We won't leave the white part unattended either. Yahoo! Glue patterns! Settle down, little ones. That did it! It's a mind-blowing rug and a pick to remember. Wow, the interior's so vibrant. The girls didn't waste time. The Project Kids Room is completed! These small designer decorations will make our yellow Pokemon smile every day. Happy housewarming, Pikachu! And how did he grow so fast? His mommy's here. Close your eyes and count from 10 to 1, my cutie pie. And don't get cold. Good night, my dearest son. I'll stay by your side and guard your sleep. She's so caring. Tell me about it. <laughs> I wish you'd be squishy. Her rainbow friend's fidgets make it difficult to focus. My victory's close. It's boring to play alone. Hey, Carol. Maybe we can have a rainbow party together. Can't you see? I'm busy. And what if you think twice? Shoo, I'm almost done with this level. Game over? No! I'm so fed up with these plush knickknacks. Go to your cartoonish Roblox heaven! Ah! Do I have to play with cotton now? Ugh, got carried away. Just don't cry, Sandra. Now I'll resuscitate your friend. <laughs> His perky look can't be brought back. What's this pessimism? Nurse Carol will bring to life even a hopeless patient. One, two, three, clear, lad! Spare his blue soul! No pulse, but he's still handsome. And the organs? You know, I've got a better idea. Lie still, victim. Our operation begins. This white thread is perfect for fixing Sandra's buddy. The back is done. Time for the main highlight. Slimy head? Curious? Let's place an elastic brain inside blue and sew it up. We only need to cut a small hole. Perfect. Catch and check out the transformation. Well, someone decided to become goggle-eyed. You gave him a new life. The creator doesn't deserve a bonus. Sorry, my bad. The sweets help me fight the stress. I see, sweet tooth. So be it. Honey jelly's always a good option. Oh. Can I try your tasty treat? Oh, got a thought. Make it look like rainbow friends. Oh. Well, if you ask. Okay, why not? First of all, the jar needs to be painted. Whoosh, and the lid is cut out. Gorgeous shade, isn't it? Some plasticine hurries to the rescue. Form a neat ball with your palms. Don't miss the fun. Our flat yellow worm turns into a crown. And be careful with the knife. We put the accessory on the blue head. A piece of black tamarind transforms into a mouth. We glue a small tongue to it. Yahoo, a face is showing. Luckily, mom gave me this button. We attach the eyes and make a hole with a tube. Cover the neck with silicone glue and decorate the jar with the blue friend. Voila! Enjoy! This is for me, and you didn't get it. All's under control, pal. To creativity. Mmm, really delicious. Impossible to tear away. Oh, <laughs> it seems I squeezed out too much. How didn't I notice your notebook? Mm. Yeah, autobiography's done. But that's okay. A new reason to create a rainbow journal. Sounds intriguing. Ooh. Quickly remove the honey jelly with a wet wipe. And it's all gone. Glue soft orange pom-poms tightly. Your time will come. And the bathroom sponge is a funny fate. It becomes the base for the eyes. We cover our yellow peepers with a white plasticine pancake. Be sure to check for air bubbles. Click, click, the excess is cut off. Attach a black pupil on top. Let's do the trick again. Familiar look, right? Go to your place of honor, little eyes. 
two drops of hot glue and Orange is watching us. Do you think something is missing? Of course. A row of snow white predatory teeth. Good monster. Hello, sleepy. Like it? Oh. Wow. Wait a second. After all, it really bears the resemblance. Cool. Oh. Let your imagination run wild. Art supplies check. Pretty cutie. I'll draw his colorful mates. Who would you start with, Carol? I just can't resist such a bright blue pencil. It turns out you have talent. Ooh. What about red? I'll leave a separate page for him. <laughs> Finishing touches. Be sure not to faint from admiration. The Rainbow Beast series. Come on, naughty sheet. We have a slideshow here. Calm down, Sandra. Mm. We'll enliven them instead. Let's go animate mm -hmm. art. Our Mr. Green has two moods today. Good and evil. Have fun all day long. Can you explain? Here's a tool for you. Roll up the first one. Green, like that. Slowly, boy. Yeah, now you can quickly move your stick. Wow, the image is cheered up. Whee! That went too far. He's such a fun guy. We'll fix it somehow as well. I didn't mean to, Carol, I swear. Watch and learn, Destroyer. And you'll be very useful to us, Green. I feel another craft idea was born. Grab a marker and draw a maze. It turned out great. Then cut it out. The next step is to securely glue our tangle of routes to the prepared cardboard base. In large and noticeable black letters, we'll designate the maze's points of start and finish for the players. We apply the familiar hot glue to a flat metal ring. In addition, we'll need a magnet with a plastic handle. Done. I've glued all the friends' heads in one box to the rings. Time to play our personal puzzle, Sandra. Mm. The magnet below moves the characters around wow. the board. Go green. Try it yourself. Wow. wow, magic on cardboard. My cute little monster has reached the goal. Congrats, but there's no such thing as too much fun. Mm. Looks like we need a new craft. The fans of adventurers like us can use a game pad. The work pieces are cut out. It's the paintwork hour. Let's play with the brush. But the buttons are waiting for attention. A stylish, right? Mr. Blue will definitely diversify our masterpiece. So let's draw him with all the inspiration we have. Emphasizing his individuality. Wanna shine with colorful flowers, tiny friend? The picture is no worse than Sandra's. Carefully glue the portrait to the cardboard. It will become the screen's background. I cut out small holes in the hands. Oh, almost forgot about the rest of the gadget's details. They will give it volume. We place the beads, cover it all with a plastic film and a panel with keys. Glue all the pieces together. Fun guaranteed. An exciting device. May I test it? Uh. I order you to immediately jump into the hole. Oh, victory! 